Hello and welcome back. Fender here, or Fend if you wish. Coming back with I Shall Remain. Uh, doing, the, doing that thing again that I love to do. Okay. Um, we were talking to Ryan Corwin. We were trading with him. And... I was looking at these uh, submachine guns here. Yeah, that's really... The ammo damage is nice, but... Like, that's just pure damage. I'm going to sell it. Maybe it's a bad idea. Because it has that little thing. But you know what? Eh. Doesn't bother me. Three serum. I'll take it. We're very tired. We're going to rest in here for a bit. And then... Goal of this episode is to find Patrick. Good old Patrick uh, Russell, I believe his name is. Let's uh, go in the quest log here. And pick it. Uh, we get five serum. And we're going to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> it's night though, so... I guess we're screwed because it's completely dark and it's not like you have a flashlight in this game, right? I Watching that was just so embarrassing. So dark, what do I do? Like, oh. Oh, that was embarrassing. Alright. It's resting here and enjoying the sights. The pressing sights. Yeah, we're, we're not infected enough. Okay. Let's get moving. Oh. Yeah. That was a huge wave of zombies, let me tell you. It, it, this, it, it's... It's a lot of fun. Uh, though, again, only issue I had was that the, the explosions just... They're not they are not quite up there yet. And the music could have been a little more dramatic. And that would have just been such an amazing moment. Okay, lots of zombies. Oh god, I thought I killed you. Oh, look at this sten. Look at it, just dominate. All right, and we are still heading the right direction. Correct. We have to go down through here. Music's uh, getting a little scary. Reminds me of uh, like a uh, like you you you're, you're going into a child's like room and it's it's dark and there's blood all over the place and there's zombies. Punch them! <laughs> Punch them, Tommy! All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tommy, oh. Tommy boy, you're down. Okay, we're gonna make that the active. We could just have hit two there. Grenade! Just, just grenade. Let's... Oh, wait, the flashlight's on. We need some flares. Flare! Our first flare, everybody. Okay, we're missing every single shot. That's not what you want. More grenade. More grenade. Not more grenades. More grenade. More, more explosion. Oh my god. Oh, we're out of ammo for the carbine already? Okay. Okay, that's not efficient. That is not efficient. Uh, melee. Melee for the infestors. Melee for the infestors. Come on. There you go. There you go. Get out of here. Eh. Jesus H. Christ. And we're low on batteries for the, for the flashlight. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. Level 8 walkers, they don't screw around. I mean, I know they're not that difficult to kill, but... Okay, Tommy boy. Tommy boy! Oh, our infection rate went up. Interesting little mechanic there, uh, tying that with the infection mechanic. Yes, get up. Get up, you moron. You know, one thing I'll say, the mini-map's very useful, 83% power, but uh, it makes things a little too easy. I mean, the flashlight is, of course, useful, but if you disable that, like, say, in hardcore mode, that would be amazing, because all of a sudden, you have to rely on your eyes and ears to find the, the zombies. That is not, that is a, an unpleasant experience, which is a good thing, of course, uh, if you want you want survival to, or survival if you want hardcore to be hardcore I would highly recommend you do that all right that's good did we get a book I don't know 
Anyway, let's uh let's learn that doctrine. Might as well. Yeah. Okay. It should be this way. And scavenging. Whoa! No. I don't want to talk to you, Tommy boy. Oh, here he is. Patrick Russell, a grizzled old man holding a sniper rifle, grasping it steady and soft like he was holding a child. What he might be lacking in youth is more than made up for experience. For inexperience. Hi there, I'm Michael. My voice is cracking. Oh, I've been uh, take, talking to Ryan at the hospital and he told me about you living here. Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, Michael. I'm Patrick. Well, living is kind of a big word these days. I get by here and everywhere else. I get by here and everywhere else up to the Newport shelter. At least I was. Roads are mostly closed and full of infected now with the winter approaching. So uh, why do you leave the door open and aren't you afraid of them coming in? Also, yeah, I guess thanks for not shooting me. Right, I saw you from far away through my rifle scope, and it's clear as day you were a human. The infected stand no chance. I shoot them before they even sense me here. Ah, I see, thanks. We're looking to complete our team for a difficult task ahead. We're tracking Dr. Chain in the hopes of finding a cure. Well, that's the kind of journey I'd be willing to undertake. Helping people cure the earth is something worth fighting for. Yeah, you seem like taking risks. Will you take us to the Belleville Hospital Center? We hope to meet the chain there. Meet chain there, rather. We'll pay for your service. Well, I won't say no, but I already have a destination set if you're willing to follow me. I can grab the things I need. I will agree to escort you until you find chain, no charge. Yeah, if you don't mind. What's this thing you need to find? Oh boy, long story. To keep it short, I'm looking for documents about the German and Italian prisoners we held here after the war was over. A lot of documents the army was obliged to store even after the pandemic started, which presumably hold information about what happened, and these are documents from both German, Italian, and U.S. personnel. Did you know there were around 60 prisoners of war taken from two German U-boat submarines? Presumably they were responsible for starting all this. They weren't killed, at least not right away. Oh, I didn't know that. But if there were people who were still alive and knowing about the virus, then... How come we don't know more about it? You think the army will tell you everything they know about this? You would expect they would, perhaps not right away, but even so, they would have released the information at a later time when things were pretty much clearly screwed. Do you think they did? I don't think so. Oh, sorry. So much reading. And you have information about this stuff? I mean, this could really help everyone understand what happened and probably even get more information about the virus. I think so, too. That's why I dedicated months of work following leads into finding these documents. To the best of my knowledge, some of the prisoners were kept near the Flatiron Shelter. That's the location I was going to search after. Ne search next. After that, if there's no strong evidence of finding something crucial, I'll be all yours. Alright. I think we'll do that. Let's do it. Roger. Roger Dodger. Man, that is, that is some creepy music right there. Oh man, I, you know, I, I, here's just an idea. Just imagine going into, well, we can't really show dead children, but just imagine going into a, just like a, a school, like a classroom, and there's just zombies everywhere with children's drawings, and you hear this music. Oh, that would be amazing. Not, not the, you know, the scene, but the, the atmosphere. I don't want children to die. Anyway, let's. Let's uh, help Patrick uncover army secrets. Ooh, we get 2,000 experience to the intelligence. I really like how you have uh, the rewards clearly marked here. I would not mind going back and finding uh, Christopher Reiner. You know what? We'll do this. Oh my god. Have to do all this stuff, huh? Okay. Going to the Flat Iron Center. Where is that? Nope. It is not on this map. Now... I'm guessing it's this way. One thing I would recommend that if you have, uh, if you have something like like this, let's say, it should appear. Oh, you need to go out that door. Objective here. Uh, like this. It's like where do I go? I don't know. I mean, I, I know they tell you to go to Bellevue and all that, but it's just like, well, okay, I guess I'll just go find it. Anyway, let's uh, let's go. Let's do some exploring. 
Hope our flashlight doesn't run out. Where, where are we going? Yeah, we're going straight ahead over to the left and we drank some water. Not a big deal, although it was our last. All right, let's... Oh yeah, we got a heavy machine gun from a zombie. That's uh, that's always wonderful. Uh, any repairs needed? Eh, that could that could use repairs. Out of ammo completely, right? No, we have a few, but eh. Yeah, we'll get our shotgun back. You know what? I am going to repair. Oh, I don't have enough. Never mind. All right, let's go this way. Wherever the hell this way is. Searching. We rarely feel the shortest route. Is not the straightest one. Sometimes investigating the smallest defense and trusting instincts is the easy way in. We need to find out what happened before we can heal ourselves. We need to learn from our mistakes before repeating them. Everything has a purpose, and while while we're not always aware, we are destined to reveal it. The journey of ours, the journey of the human race. It's not mine nor yours. It's the journey of what remained and what it can become. It's the reason we still call ourselves survivors. Yeah, kind of deep there. Kind of deep. Oh, God. That shouting, man, that scares the shit out of me every single time. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we still have time. Let's explore this area. Flatiron Shelter should be up this road. We'll reach it soon. The intelligence I gather points to some, uh, a safe of some sort where the documents are kept. Sounds good. Oh. Ah! Oh, God! Okay, what are we shooting at? What are we shooting at? Listen, uh, that's a very loud rifle. <laughs> Sorry for screaming into the microphone there. Oh my god, that was scary. Okay, flare. Just, just beat the crap out of him. No, I want to talk to you, Tommy, Tommy boy. Let's, let's uh, level up. No, not, not that one. This one. We're still civil. Um, under the mountain, on safe at the siege of Cabo. Defense for your teammates, defense for yourself. Um, but you have to fight alone to get that. So we're going to get defense for teammates, obviously. It's the only real choice. Um, you know what? Yeah, Flare's Duration, we'll take it. Light up the night, baby. Light up the night, do a little dance. Live the night life. Jesus, that's a loud gun. I'm go Patrick's amazing. Tommy boy, you could learn a little from Patrick. I mean, maybe maybe it's because you don't have a gun, but... Okay, let's, uh, let's drop that, huh? Hey, what happened to the flare? Here. It died. How about this one? I can't throw any more flares. Okay, I guess I switched to another weapon in the flare work. Man, just just let Patrick deal with it. Patrick's a badass, man. Like Jesus. <laughs> Go Patrick. Oh, oh. Better turn on the flashlight so I can see a little better. I think I was shooting, uh, shooting my buddy Tommy Boy there. Oh man, man, look how dark everything is. Look how just, just look at that scene, just that, just that inferno burning. All right, let's let's get in this little building here. Our flashlight's gonna die. We don't have the batteries. Should have spent the serum, actually. All right, let's uh, let's do that. Yeah, we need to get inside, and there we'll probably end the episode. Okay, traffic jam. Okay, here's the entrance. Yeah, we'll scavenge. Got a landmine over there. I'll take it. Oh, white beater. No, actually, no. It's Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees, baby. 
See it? See the mask? He's Jason Voorhees. Just... Alright, I think he's stuck. Or no, he's beating the crap out of Tommy Boy. Be my meat shield, Tommy Boy. Be my meat shield. What's this? Is this wearing off? Oh no, it shows me it's in effect right now. It's trying to tell me, hey, you're doing 25% more damage. Okay, I see, I see. I see. Ooh, a weapon. Weapon. Alright. Uh, how do you, let's go back inside. Let's go back inside. Patrick's probably just gonna go, ba 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 ba. Patrick, he, he doesn't miss. Doesn't miss, doesn't give a shit. Man, Patrick, you're my hero. Although that is one fruity avatar. I mean, look at this guy. He's like, hey, I'm the best sniper ever. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, uh, okay, so we hear a lot of groans. All right, turn off the flashlight when you're inside. You don't need it there. God, gosh. Okay, now I need it now. Um. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I I'm not trying to complain, but that is a loud ass gun. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It didn't even matter. Uh, me that, and that a little bit. It just makes me quieter. I think Patrick. Patrick is so amazing. He, he's just on his own. Uh, he's on his own thing. You, you can't control Patrick. You can't do it. Doesn't miss. Doesn't give a shit. That's Patrick. In fact, we'll turn that back up. It's a little too quiet for me, actually. Yeah, we'll turn that back up. Need some music. Oh! Patrick d decided to oblige the music of, of his gun just executing the world. Oh my god, is that a Nazi zombie? Nazi zombie. Also, what's this? Ooh, more damage. There we go. Now we found it. Okay, let's... Come on, Patrick. Do your thing, buddy. That's it. Oh, we're gonna have to end the episode here. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll go a couple more minutes. We'll go a couple more minutes. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. And our flashlight's out. Damn, it's a bit lower. Starting to miss. All right, just switch, switch to melee. It's not good for our stamina, that's for sure. Level twelve Walker. Come on, like twins. Come on now. Ugh. Swing away. Swing away. Jesus. Ooh, we got some lore in there. Some books. We'll pick it up and we'll read it uh, some other time. Yeah, poor flashlight. Deader than a dead guy on dead, dead lane. Yeah, that's very creative. Okay. You know what? We just can't end it here. There's too many of them! They're coming out of the walls! Alright, come on now. Come on. Jeez, I'm Lord Mercy, come on! Oh, Patrick. Patrick is the... He's just amazing. Just a hero of democracy and justice. That's Patrick. Ooh, our inventory is full. M1 Garand. Ooh, fascinating. 
Got a Thompson that needs repairs. We have an axe, a normal axe. Okay, you know what? We're going to end it here. Oh, oh god, Tommy had fainted and I didn't even notice. Sorry, Tommy boy. I'm just, I'm just amazed with Patrick. <laughs> if you like, if you like Patrick, if you like this video, if you like me screaming into the mic, uh, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, say I'm amazing, say Patrick. Patrick's really, he stole the show in this episode. Good on you, Patrick. All right. After this, we'll, uh, we'll, in the next episode, we'll try to find these documents and Patrick will probably kill half the human race. I hope you see me next time.